I'm not quite sure, but I think I might have put the fear of God into our speakers, because you're all bang on. This is impressive stuff. Goodness, I should have done this last year. Um, thank you, Andrew. Much appreciated. Um, 10.25, we're going to go to a Q&A session. So we've got about half an hour till we get there. And then at 10.40, it's coffee. Can you hang on till then? Oh, good. Excellent stuff. Right. Now, I have a little tradition. Would anybody object to me taking a photo of the audience? Because these guys think they're the rock stars, but you guys are. And I'd like to show people just how rammed this place is. Is that all right? Good. No dissent. That's approval. There you go. Great stuff. Right. Now then, um, I'd like to know from the audience, who has been to this conference before? Hand in the air. Wow. Okay, so maybe 50%. So 50% or so are new. If you've got comments, thoughts, feedback that you want to give us, go online, go to LinkedIn, find the Net Zero group and leave your comments. There's a live stream there right now. Hello, live stream. You can talk to us too. We, oh no, you're there, aren't you? Hello. <laughs> leave your comments. We can only make this better if we know what it is you need. If we're delivering that, tell us. If we're not, tell us. Thank you kindly. Okay, next up, we have the founder and CEO of Anzen Innovations, Dhruv Shah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, morning. So I'm Dhruv. I'm co-founder and CEO of Anzen, and we make solid-state heat pumps. We are, I think, the youngest company in the panel. Uh, within half years old, a startup from London. A small but strong team uh, working on uh, heat pumps since three years now. Um, all right, so without further ado, before I share about what we do, a quick show of hands. Who here has gas boilers? All right, wow, yeah. <laughs> we should be here, definitely. Um, so it's not just us, it's 1.7 million gas boilers sold each year. And as compared to that, only 72,000 low carbon heating solutions, which are mostly heat pumps. Why is this so? Well, there are two big problems. One is properties and the other is solutions, right? So in terms of properties, if we just talk about Scotland, more than 2 million homes are uh, sort of need to transition to clean heat. And most of these are hard to retrofit, right? They are old, solid, solid, uh, solid walls, or uh, they are off gas rural. Uh, 600,000 homes are in fuel poverty as well. So we need a solution ASAP. We do have net zero uh, mandates for 2045, but these homes aren't viable for even the current solutions. Um, and if we talk about the hardest to retrofit, which are flats, tenements, uh, rural homes, these are the homes which don't have space, which ha is suffering from mold, damp, who are into air quality. So it's not just about decarbonization, but it's also about making homes healthier. In terms of the challenges with the products, we have the only viable solution today, which is heat pump. There is heat network as well, but these projects can take some time. They would cater to maybe 20, 50% of the homes, but not all of them. So heat pumps can be a rescue, but they're not right of a uh, sort of viable solution for all homes, mainly because of three big reasons. One is space. We all don't have enough space for the larger sort of indoor units, sort of chunkier, noisier outdoor units. Um, and also it's, it's a pain to retrofit these systems. Installation is complex, it takes so much time, it can underperform if it's not done efficiently. And the last and the biggest barrier is cost. They are almost two to three times more expensive than gas boilers, even after grants for a lot of people. They can cost much more to run if not installed efficiently, and grants are often not enough. So because of that, we have only 1% of homes in the UK that has heat pumps. And at the pace at which we're going, it will take us 700 years to decarbonize all of our homes. And that is why introducing the sleekest heat pump ever, Anzen Climate Wall. So what we are doing is sort of trying to redefine the playbook, at least for flats, tenements, hard to retrofit homes. So we don't use refrigerants, we don't use uh, any compressors, rather we use semiconductors. So we use thermoelectric modules, which does the same job of heat pumping as an outdoor unit would. What, uh, like what this does is eliminates the need of an outdoor unit, makes this a simple plug-and-play system. 
it has no moving parts that's why it's solid state it do have it does have fans uh, and that's why the installation can take two hours uh, and it can be done via the uh, 39 plug or you can hardwire it so what we're trying to do over here is reduce the cost for assessments compliances which are oftentimes twice as compared to the product itself and just try to build something more scalable so as i was saying how this works is we use thermoelectrics now how this work is uh, you might have seen this in wine coolers very niche applications electronics cooling server cooling but what we saw was the heat output was much higher than the cooling output when you pass current to this it starts pumping heat from one side to the other so our job was to make this as efficient as possible. If you Google this, it's not going to show any efficiency. But what we are doing is increasing the heat dissipation, increasing the heat transfer coefficient. And that is why we are able to build a system which is 200 to 300% percent efficient, which is COP of 2 and 3, between 2 and 3. So it does heating and cooling and ventilation. Essentially, this becomes a holistic indoor climate system. Uh, it, it is modular, so there's no issue of zoning. It, uh, sort of is de uh, decentralized. So one room would have one. Even if you have a studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, you, get, you are very flexible to install where you want heat and how much you want heat. Uh, because it's solid state, maintenance will be uh, much less intensive as compared to SOC heat pumps or any other sort of uh, much more complicated solutions. And if, as per our calculations, if we're able to decarbonize 100,000 homes, we'll be able to save 1.2 million tons of carbon emissions. So uh, just to go in, in a bit more detail, the installation, as you can see over there, is quite simple. You can replace your exhaust, uh, exhaust vents or your air brake and just punch a hole through the wall. It's a small sort of 100 mm hole. Uh, or if you have ducting already in your house, you can just plug, plug it in with the ducting. So all in all, this almost becomes like IKEA of heat pumps. What you get with this is cost of installation, which is half as compared to ASO's heat pumps. Uh, be uh, because of this, larger portfolios can decarbonize twice the amount of homes at the same uh, f for the same budget for the same time. The installation is just two hours, so the entire day, uh, the entire house can be installed in half a day. And lastly, uh, payback against storage heaters or electric-only heating can be less than two years, so it's a it's a non-negotiable at that point. Uh, and it's not just a concept, it's not just on paper. We have built this last year. We tested three of our units. They look a bit chunky, but now we've reduced the size. We, we tested three of our units. I, from what I know, they are one of the first C certified solid state heat pumps in the UK. They work at an efficiency of 200%, which is lab verified, uh, tested. We have fire testing, everything done. Uh, now we are building a very simple to retrofit wall mounted unit. And our aim is to reach a COP of three and above by year end or by early next year. And we're also working on hot water systems and centralized uh, heat pumps, uh, which is in the pipeline. So our ask today is, uh, let's pilot together. We have done enough lab testing, now we want to do real world testing. So let's pilot, let's make this a solid solution for, for, for Scotland. So we want to work with councils, housing associations, property portfolios, installers, everyone. And what we offer is a very uh, sort of accessible way of deploying a solution, try, uh, trying it out. We have a dashboard uh, which we give as well. We have uh, temperature sensors, humidity sensors, so we can give you the entire data, all whatever you need. Um, and we also do the horizontal unit. We are working with uh, councils in London. We are working with developers from Manchester, Birmingham, and now it's Scotland's time. So please join me in the solicitation. Thank you.